All right, time for Neil's spiel. And, and this one just, I found odd. Forget showtime. Maybe they should just call themselves showstopper time. Because forget terrorists. The edgy network is pulling itself back from the edge, all but promising next year's homeland will avoid any Muslim terrorist angles. Susan, there will still be terrorism. <laughs> But I guess it will not be Muslim inspired. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Neil, I put this on my Facebook page to see what people would say. They were outraged. No way. They can't do that. That's that's what the whole show is about. So I think that it, once we start allowing these terrorists to dictate to us how we conduct ourselves, this is entertainment. We don't stop. Well, the show's shows. creator says that's not yeah. the case. But. Uh, it's odd that this comes to light now. But we don't. We didn't stop. You know, shows on drug trafficking or yeah. murder or violence or all those kinds of but things. They, makes no sense. But they did say that they're looking for other creative angles. That this is going to be our to people, do. Tracy. The Italian. The Italian. This is yeah. going to be another mafia show. <laughs> I know. Sopranos part, Sopranos part three. <laughs> well, they, and they also said they might even bring it to the U.S., which I don't know why they'd want to do that. Well, yeah, I don't yeah, know. It just sounds a little odd. Yeah. It, it is odd, but at the same time, maybe they're assessing their risks. They're, they're also need to think about their viewers too because it, it, to Susan's point that could make the viewers very angry yeah. however if there's a lot of risk in carrying out this sort of storyline then maybe there's a similar storyline they could pursue wouldn't be as risky also I'm kind of curious from a business standpoint looking at things like insurance premiums is it harder to insure productions that uh, cover oh, controversial yeah. subjects also are actors uh, reluctant to play parts if it might offend someone is there more risk to those actors and are they getting pushed back from the because yeah. they've already been criticized by Pakistan and Israel. So those countries right. have come out and against of this show. So to your point, Veronica, I mean, maybe everyone across the board is afraid. And, and then I think that's... But how do you fighting. solve that, Tracy, with different bad guys? Yeah, see, we have to sue more as Italians. I think, <laughs> they just pick, they'll pick Aww. on us. <laughs> it is right. weird. That's right. It is weird. Or maybe we're doing things out of fear. Period. I think there is a little fear there, but once again, you know, I, I think people think if you if you put this out there and people are watching it, that it is going to raise the fear factor. I think it actually worked the other way. I think people can see how bad these people can really be. It's not just something you catch on the na daily news. They really see it play out in an entertainment way, but they see it play out. Um, I don't think it would jeopardize the audience for Homeland, right? Or will it? I don't know. I think they're probably never watched it, actually. My husband watches it. He's pretty devoted. He loves the storylines. He's been following it from the beginning. I love Claire Danes, so I should watch it. Um, but I think the viewers would push back uh, because, from what I understand, there's a lot of. Uh, Wonder, a little unsettling your husband's into such <laughs> well, uh, violent you know, like, That's right. Well, I think he also likes that other weird show, Seven Monkeys. But I think there's uh, our 12 <laughs> okay, monkeys. Sure. But I think there's a lot I've of. Seen like, me chopped. Unfinished, chopped. unfinished uh, sort of chopped. plot, yes. uh, loose plot ends or whatever they say. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of viewers that would be frustrated. You gotta wonder if Hollywood's gonna get a spine too, right? Remember George Clooney came mm -hmm. out with the Sony hack, try, had a petition, tried to get signatures, couldn't. You gotta wonder now, especially because he looked so darn good the other night, <laughs> if people <laughs> sign, sign something or will defend, <laughs> step up to Hollywood. Yeah. Back to being such a girl. Uh, such a girl. I mean, George I think Clooney. people, uh, like I said on Facebook, I had people literally say, it is the best show on television. That says to me, yeah. don't go messing with it. Mess you know the old it. saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix well, it. Monica is a good point. They might have been messing with it for other reasons. For other I think reasons. everything to do with this. Right, financial reasons, right? They have to assess their risk, see what the, their consultants are saying. Also, maybe there's a cyber risk, too, to this. The, the company that puts it out, and Showtime might be worried that they'll be hacked, too. I, I think this whole Sony thing is really burned into entertainment companies' minds, a lot of companies' minds overall. But, and so they're worried that, hey, if I say something wrong, am I going to become yeah, a target, too? Yeah, you know too? what? We cannot let them you see can. us. You, you can't let them see you sweat. But you, you also know? have got to be see what your risks are. And if yeah. we start letting them do that to us, we lose our freedom. And we cannot. We can't let to... them control the stuff that we make up. That's, <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> Create I want to tell my story. I'm going to tell my story. You don't have to be on cold medicine to see right through. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile,